I think, uh, I mean, I know like with filming and stuff, they're, they're able to kind of break down certain players and what they do. And he called me on uh, Wednesday morning, like around noon and was like, hey, I've been watching film of you. I was like, I really like what I see. He's like, I can tell that uh, you talk a lot. You're an energy guy. You rebound, um, dive on the floor for loose balls and stuff like that. He's like, we need a guy like that on our team. And, um, and then as like the recruiting process went on, he kind of watched more and more film uh, and was just like, hey, like, I really, really like what we like. What you, what you have to bring and like what you have to offer and he's like I'd really like to get you down here to visit and kind of get this thing moving. Uh, did you have any questions for, for Coach Cow or the staff from your end kind of from your perspective before you made the decision to come to UK? I mean for me I, I understand that these guys have 40 some NBA players on the wall and I that's obviously really attractive but for me I really wanted to come here and develop and get better and kind of put myself in a spot where I can play in front of people that are going to help me get to where I want to get to professionally. And um, but I'm I'm just every day I'm, I'm trying to get better and trying to work towards uh, winning winning games here first because all that stuff's going to come at the end of the season. And I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried about myself right now. I'm worried about the team right now. And then getting this thing moving because November fifth is right around the corner. Nate, who's one guy that's consistently wowed you in what you've seen in the pickup games and practices so far? Um, that's tough. Because everybody, everybody has. Um, I don't know. I would either say Tyrese or Khalil. They're just Khalil Whitney's athletic ability is something that I've never seen. The dude is ridiculously strong, and when he goes downhill, he's really, really hard to stop. And he jumps to the roof, and he rebounds, and he defends. But Tyrese is like lightning fast, and the dude scores the crap out of the ball. <laughs> and it's just it's so impressive because like. Everybody thinks they, I was saying earlier, they have like all this hype around them. They're 18-year-old kids. They haven't even played a college game yet. So it's like they're able to do this now. Like come February and March, like they're going to be they're gonna be done. What is among the veteran guys, is there one that feels like he's kind of on the cusp of a breakout here? Like he's just right there on the edge of it. Honestly, all four of them. Uh, watching a lot of the games at the end of the year last year, um, and just seeing how Nick has changed his body and how he's gotten a lot stronger. EJ's changed his body. EJ's a whole lot stronger. He's hard to guard. Nick's hard to guard. Ashton, holy smokes, his the difference between when he first came in and now is night and day. And then Emmanuel is always in the gym. It doesn't matter if it's 6 in the morning, if it's 12.30 at night, he's, he's in here shooting. And he, towards the end of the summer, he and I were playing a lot of five, or a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, and he actually really helped me out with my lateral movement and stuff like that. But honestly, I think all four of them are, are due for it. Thank you. Absolutely. Hey, you, you obviously played college basketball for a while and went up against good competition. Is there was there any like question when you when you come like you know these are the top talent? Am I good enough to play with these guys? And then you get on the court and say, Yeah, I am. Or did you just know you can play with? Them? Uh, when I first got here, I was a little hesitant because I had I had been playing in a system for four years and I was so used to that and I wasn't used to the speed of the game here and the speed of the guys. So I did question myself a little bit at the beginning of the summer and towards the middle of the summer. And then there were a couple of practices where I started to make some progress and then it really started to kind of get moving and then my confidence kind of spiked and, and having the, the back of my team and having like the coaching staff back you really, really helps. And uh, I think so far it's, it's been really good. Nate, obviously that picture of you physically changing your body has created quite reaction. <laughs> Just how much work went into that and how does it translate on the court? Uh, on it, like this summer was probably one of the hardest summers I've had, just in terms of staying mentally focused and staying like staying on that diet and staying true to the workouts and, and really focusing in on what I was doing and really paying attention to what I was eating. Um, but it, it helps me stay focused, like when we're practicing. So, like, I understand that I now have this level of expectation for myself for focusing and staying focused and being able to maintain that level of intensity and focus throughout a two and a half hour practice and uh, I think it really really helped me and, and I'm trying to translate that and like, give that over to the other guys as well.